In this problem, we're told, in college softball, the distance from the pitcher's mound to the batter is 43 feet. If the ball leaves the bat at 100 miles per hour, how much time elapses between the hit and the ball reaching the pitcher? So let's draw a diagram of what's going on. So we have this pitcher here, and they're throwing this ball. And the ball's going to go ahead and travel 43 feet. So 43 feet, and it's going to get hit by this batter. So this batter has this bat, and the ball's going to be hit. And we know the ball is going to be leaving the bat. Right, so the velocity is going to be 100 miles per hour. So this is just an image of what's going on. Let's go ahead and solve. So the formula you need to know to solve this problem is that V is equal to D over T. Right, so velocity is equal to distance over time. So we have distance and we have the velocity and we're solving for time. Right, So this equation is going to work. But what we need to do is get it in terms of T because right? they're trying to find time. They're asking how much time. So let's go ahead and get this in terms of t. If we multiply both sides by t, you're going to get that tv is equal to d. And then if we divide by v, right, we get that t is equal to d over v. So our distance divided by our velocity. And so what we need to do first, though, is change this from miles to per, uh, per hour. And we got to make sure the distance, right, so the miles is in feet. But And I'm also going to change the hour into seconds because the distance this or the time this is going to take is probably going to be less than a second. So I'm going to change this from hours to seconds too while I'm at it. So we know this is going to be 100 miles for every single hour, so per one hour. So the first thing we need to do is make sure miles is in feet. And the way we do that is you're going to multiply it by one mile, right? So on the bottom. And then on top, you're going to have 5,280 feet. Right, because there's this many feet for every single mile. That's something you have to memorize. And so if we do this, the miles will cancel essentially. And we'll just have 100 times 5,280. And that's going to give us it in feet. But keep in mind, we also want to put it in seconds. So we have this hour here. We need to change the hour into seconds. So the way we do that is we do one hour. And so how many minutes are there an hour? There's going to be 60 minutes for every hour. And then you'll see that these hours cancel. And now it'll be in minutes. But keep in mind, we're trying to do seconds. So we also have to get rid of the minute. So there's going to be one minute for every 60 seconds. So then that will cancel too. And so then we'll just have it in feet per second. So it's just gonna be 100 times 5,280 divided by 60 divided by 60. If you go ahead and do that, you're gonna get 146.67, and keep in mind our units, feet over seconds. So this right here is gonna be our new uh, velocity. And now that we have them aligned in terms of units, we can just plug it in. So t is going to be equal to our distance in feet, so 43 feet, divided by the velocity, 146.67. You can estimate if you want on that. I'm just going to do the this number, though. And so if you notice, the feet will cancel, essentially, and you're just going to have it in seconds. So if you do 43 divided by 146.67, you're going to get that it equals 0.293, and then keep in mind our units, which is seconds. And so I'm going to round to the hundredths place here. So it's just going to be 0.29 seconds. So this right here is going to be your answer. So how much time elapses? It's going to be 0.29 seconds.